Hello my love. So I'm back today with another haul video. Um, like I mentioned in my last haul, I have a lot of stuff to haul for you. Um, I've literally just been saving this and saving it and saving it. I haven't touched most of it and it has kind of been killing me. But at the same time, it's kind of like Christmas right now because I get to go through it, show you guys, and then I get to open it all and actually use it. Um, so I have been like hauling and keeping this stuff for about a month, a month and a half to two months now. So like I said, it is kind of like I don't even remember what I got, but we're about to find out. So this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to warn you now, it is going to be very long because I have a lot of stuff. And most of this is beauty items. Um, I have a few things that aren't beauty items that I'll keep till the end of the video. That way, um, you know, you, if you just want to watch that stuff, I'll put the time down in the description box where you can skip to. And if you just want to watch the beauty, then once the beauty stuff is over, you can leave. Um, so yeah. Dollar Tree has had not that very many beauty items, but I found a few things that I, you know, thought I might enjoy. So I picked them up. So yeah, we're just going to get right into it because like I said, it's going to be a lot of stuff. So um, let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with like the body sprays, lotion, face wash, that type of thing. Um, so yeah, first I'm going to start with... Um, this everybody was hauling this um it's the like the after bomb for shaving but it was for men it came out during father's day um time but i picked up for one for my um boyfriend but then i also picked up one for me because you can use it on your legs or anything like that so i just picked one up for me to use um also you know down here in florida going to the beach and getting in the pool you get sunburnt so i picked up this aloe vera after sun um smoothing gel soothing gel and um i haven't tried it yet it does smell pretty um scented so it doesn't really smell like aloe to me it kind of smells like a perfume scent from just opening it i haven't really rubbed it in i haven't used it and summer's about over now so i may not even use it but i picked it up because i figured i'd be using it but yeah so i got that I also picked up the stretch mark cream that they came out with. Um, I haven't used this either. Like I said, I've been saving this to haul for y'all. So I haven't used any of it hardly. So if you've used this and it works, let me know. Um, I haven't smelt it. I haven't even opened it at all. So I got that. This is a repurchase for me. I love this lotion. This is like the best thick lotion that I have found ever. Um, it's good for really dry feet or if you have dry skin, it's not really greasy, but it, it does the job. I really recommend this lotion for y'all. I also picked up the moisturizing hair removal cream. Um, I've never used this. Like I said, I guess I don't know if it's really new or not, but I haven't used it. Um, let me know if it works. Also, if any of these products you love, let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, so I've been saving this. I want to, I'm excited to use this stuff finally. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. Um, I got this energizing acne cleanser. I've never seen this one. This is the exfoliating iced orange and mint. I've tried the other ones and I really enjoy them. So I've seen this and I decided to pick it up. And... It does smell really refreshing. It does smell really, really good. So I'm really excited to use this. And I'm about out of my face wash I'm using by the same name brand. I'm almost out. So this is perfect timing. I can go ahead and put it in my shower and use it. And by that same name brand, I picked up this body clearing acne spray. Um, and it's for like when you have hard to reach places, it says. Um, clears body breakouts, fast drying, non-sticky. I got this for my back because where my back is and my hair from where I, you know, wet it and put gel in it and it rubs my back. I do tend to sometimes get breakouts. So I got this for that reason exactly. Um, so I want to try it and see if it really works. Like I said, I love the name brand of this. So I thought that was a really good deal and kind of a, a new find that I got excited about. Next, I pick up picked up two of these power stick for her that they came out with. Um, I do like the pink one, the orange one I'm not a huge fan of. So I might give it away to somebody. Um, but the pink one does smell good. But I pick both of them up without smelling them in the store because I like it's just a dollar. I can always just throw them on if I'm going to work out or, um, you know, going to sleep or anything like that. Just something simple. 
I wouldn't really wear these out as perfume, but for something like that, I just picked them up. And then the last thing I got are two of these Fit Feminine deodorant spray. Um, I didn't necessarily get these for down there because I know that's not really healthy for you. But I got it for, um, because they smell just like baby powder. Um, so I got it to spray like under my clothes or even I got it for my boyfriend's shoes if he needs it. Because like I said, it smells just like baby powder. So basically it's just a spray that smells like baby powder. So I just decided to pick them up and I can use them as deodorant probably or anything like that, honestly. So I just picked those up. Okay, so next we're going to move on to like nail items. Um, I got a lot of nail polish, but first I'll um, haul these. I got these Sally Hansen Salon Effects in the number 130 Thread Lightly. And it's just like lace, and it's actual textured lace. So I thought that would be fun to kind of work with and see what I can, you know, do with that. So I just picked that up. I also did find a pack of these gel dress. I took the strips out and put them in my storage because um I was going to use them and then I never put them back in here. But I did keep the container to show you and it is called Sugar and Spice. And it's the floral one that they had from Kiss. Um, To go along with like more nail art, I did pick up some more of these little tubes that they carry. And I got the like chunky glitter ones. And then I got like the, uh, thought of medium size hexy. So that's a good deal. You know, you can always never have too many like little goodies to go on your nails if you do your own nails. Um, so I just picked those two up. I picked up this e.l.f. concealer brush, but I'm going to use it for gel. Um, I have heard a lot of people talk about how good this works with gel. I have never used this for gel. So I just got it to kind of, um, test it out. So yeah, that's how it looks. Um, the rest is nail polish. So I'm going to start with these two Maybelline color polishes I got. This is the Maybelline um, Color Workshop in Alluring Rose. And it's like it's a hollow one. This is the holographic gold. And then I got this one in Blue Beats. And this is the pretty... Um, like chunky glitter with blue and black and then that's the holographic gold so yeah i was excited to find these two next i have just straight revlon polishes because they stamp good and i just really i'm really to start really liking their um name brand so i got the blue one in mesmerize I got this green glittery one for Enthrall. I think that's how you say it. Which is really pretty. It's like a greenish gold. I got the silver, which I was really happy to find because, like I said, for stamping and magnetize. And I also found the gold in Hypnotize. So I got both of those. And if you want to do, see a stamping video on these, let me know and I can test them all out. I also found this pretty blue one in Begill. Begill, I think it is. It's a really pretty blue. I found this um, rosy neutral color in, in Inspire, which I thought would be really pretty for fall. And then I found this darker red, which is also pretty for fall, in Persuade. And that's all the nail goodies that I got. Okay, so I found two more nail goodies. I found this burnt orange looking polish in Captivate. And then I also found these nail stickers which are gold and black which are really cute. I really like this one. Okay, moving on to like makeup kind of items. Um, I got, the only makeup I really got are these uh, LA Colors. And I did get all six, so I'm missing one. Oh, right here it goes. Yeah, I did get, I did find all six. So I picked all six up. And these are the LA Colors color bombs that they came out with. And I'm glad I, I didn't get the Profusion ones. I only got one in the scent Vanilla. So I'm glad I didn't get those. And I'm glad I waited for these because I heard these are way better, way pigmented, you know, and um stuff. So, sorry, I'm trying to. 
Uh, so I'm glad I waited on these. I'll lift this up so you can see them. So yeah, I'm glad I waited and I picked these up instead. Um, if you want to see swatches of these, I can do it on my Instagram. I probably will within the next week anyways because um, I want to start back my swatch Wednesdays that I do. So uh, if you want to do that, I'll link my Instagram down below and you can see the swatches of these. Just throw those on the floor. Some beauty items I got. I picked up these um, microfiber facial scrubbers to use just uh, if I really want to clean out the makeup on my face or anything like that. I heard they're really good for that. Um, and for a dollar, you know, these kind of things you can't use for very long because they get kind of bacteria and stuff in them. So I figured I'd just pick these up for a dollar and use them to try them. I also did find the two roller balls by Skin um, Skin Nutrition's for the dark, color, dark spot corrector and the under eye one. So like I said, I haven't tried these out. I'm excited to try them out finally. So I did pick those up. I also found this nice old daily repair vitamin A cream for your face and it smells really like a face cream it smells really nice honestly so I picked that up I'm excited to try that out I also picked up these uh, teeth whitening strips I heard people said they were pretty good and they're not Dollar Tree brand I don't believe so yeah I don't see where it says they're Dollar Tree um, Greenbrier so yeah I'm excited to try those out and then I also just picked up some more pads cotton pads I ran out so I just need some more so I just picked those up okay I forgot another nail polish I got this LA colors color craze in spring flirt and it's the like cream looking with these uh about to say sprinkles it does look like sprinkles but glitter in it I like I got the pink one too and I really like the pink one so I decided to pick up the blue one also okay moving on to hair products I got some clips that they came out with this is good for just straightening your hair coloring your hair whatever you need to hold your hair and part it this is good for that and for a dollar i thought that was a good deal i also picked up some of these headbands i've opened them because i did have to use one because i had none so um just basic black headbands you can't go wrong with that you get seven for a dollar i did pick up this um leave-in conditioner that I want to try. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I'm excited to try it. And it feels really heavy, so I think it's pretty thick, which is good because I have naturally curly hair and I sometimes need to leave in conditioner just to moisturize it. So I try. I want to try that. This is a repurchase for me. I've tried this many times. This is the olive oil hair dress um, by Lusty Organics. I love this for when I get out the shower and I just want to put something in my hair, like I said, to moisturize it. Um, I love this name brand, so I do love this, and you get quite a bit of it for a dollar. So if you have curly hair, I recommend this for something just to put in there to hold you over till the next day or anything like that. And then lastly for hair, I did find these Dark and Lovely Go Intense Hair Dye in Magic Plum, and I think this is going to be my color I choose for the fall time so I picked up three of those because that's a really good deal you can't go wrong with good hair dye for a dollar so um they aren't expired so I'm excited to use these and like I said it's kind of like a plummy brown color so it's not too light so I'm excited to try these for the fall time okay so that's all for the beauty items so if that's all you wanted to watch thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one and I have the rest of these items that are everything but beauty. Um, beauty and planner supplies because I already put up my planner supplies haul. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. I got these two sunglasses case. I had a pink one and I lost it. I don't know where I lost it from. We did travel to, a North, to North Carolina. So I think somewhere within that I lost it. But it's such a good deal and honestly, like my boyfriend sometimes put his sunglasses in my first two. So I bought one for him and me just to have so I purchased those two then I also found the workout sports band and I also got my boyfriend one two in black but this is mine I got the pink I thought that was a really good deal so um, I just picked that up for if I want to go on walks or anything like that going along with like the bags items I picked up these two um, cosmetic bags and you get two for a dollar 
And honestly, you can never have too many bags, especially if you do makeup, nails, or anything like that. If you carry a purse or you're a girl, you can never go wrong with cosmetic bags. So I, and I love Cheetah. So I just picked those up. Also in Cheetah, I picked up the one of these um headband type things that you can wear. I'll take it out. That you can wear all these different ways, which I thought was a really good deal. And I just got the Cheetah one. So this is how it comes. So I was excited to find that. They did have them in other prints, but I just decided to pick up the one. Um, I picked up some of these mitts, these Denton ice mitts that I have not used yet. Because I've been holding off and I purchased these like two months ago, I think. So I got those mitts. And then I also got the breath strips because I love always having something. That way if I eat or anything like that, I can always just pop something in. So I got those two. Also for my purse, I got some Tylenol Extra Strength six capsules it's always good to have medicine because you never know when that headache is going to strike or cramps or anything like that so i picked those up um i also found these true lemon that i'm going to carry in my purse i carry everything in my purse if you want to see what's in my purse update it because i did do one a long time ago but i have way more stuff in my purse now um but yeah i got these to carry in my purse and just have at home because i love lemon um a lot so i just picked these up I also picked up these two storage containers, which I thought, which I thought were really good quality and good deal. And I always need storage for something, so I just picked these up. I couldn't go wrong with just buying them, you know, only a dollar. I did find these neon glittery paints in the craft section, which I don't have nothing specifically to use them for now. But I'm gonna open up and see what kind of quality they are and stuff to see what I could use them for. But I thought they were just too pretty to pass up and they are beautiful. So I might try to incorporate these with nails or something. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to see if I can find a way to use these. And if I do, I'll let you know. I also picked up one of these dry erase boards that I thought was really cute. I also like to use these like under when I'm doing my nails to put the rhinestones on. Um, if I'm filming a video, I can use this. Just anything like that, I thought I could put this to use. And I thought it was really cute. I also found this ID pouch with the black um, kind of rhinestone-y. Like it, it feels like they're studs, but they're not. It's all one material, which I thought was really, really cute. I was really surprised to find something so cute like this at the Dollar Tree. Well, not really surprised, but excited, shall I say, because I know they get some good stuff. So I was excited to find that. I also did come across the chalkboard stickers. I got this one. I also picked up another one. But I gave it to my sister. So yeah, I picked up that because I thought that was a really cute idea. And then I also, I'm going to do a wall collage in my room. Um, so I picked up this also. It matches my theme to put on my wall collage. So yeah, that was a lot of stuff. But I think I'm finally done. That's everything I purchased from the Dollar Tree within the last two months. So I'm done with the Dollar Tree hauls except for... <laughs> Like weekly. I may start doing weekly hauls so I don't have so much stuff that I can't use. So if you want to see weekly Dollar Tree hauls, just let me know. Um, and I still have to do more planner hauls because I have stuff coming from eBay, which I think I'm going to film right after this. So yeah. So if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me any comments and questions. And like I said, let me know if any of these products you've used that you love. If you don't love them, any products at the Dollar Tree that you love that I didn't haul, let me know because I'm always up to try new things, as you can tell. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.